answering this question, I'm going to make the assumption that you have some idea of how the shell method works. This is the basic definition of the shell method. We're revolving some region defined in the xy plane about an axis of revolution. And in our case, for this problem, the line x equals 7 is the axis of revolution. And this purple region is the area between the curve y equals x squared, x cubed rather, and the line y equals 8 and x equals 0. So for the shell method, we want to think of a rectangle, typical rectangle that's parallel to the axis of revolution. And we're going to revolve that rectangle around the axis of revolution and creating this thin shell, kind of like, think of a tin can, the shell of the tin can. Uh, what we're going to see is that in this formula, x represents the distance or the average radius of that shell. And that's the distance from the axis of revolution to the center of your shell. And that distance is recognized, that distance is represented by 7 minus x. For any x value along the x-axis, 7 minus x will be that distance. Uh, the height of the shell will be the distance from here to here. Well, this point right here has a coordinate uh, x f of x, which is x cubed. So the this height right here could be represented by 8 top minus bottom f of x or 8 minus x cubed. So the integral looks like this. We could put the 2 pi out front. We're integrating from 0 to 2. The average radius is 7 minus x. The height is 8 minus x cubed. And the thickness of the shell, which is this distance right here, is represented by dx. And hopefully you've had some introduction to how uh, a Riemann sum is used to end up with this formula right here. Okay, now I'm going to share my screen real Oh, I don't need to share my screen. <clears throat> uh, here's the video. Maybe I do need to share my screen. Here's Desmos. I'm going to paste this link to this graph into the answer. But here's the integral set up like I did on uh, uh, the whiteboard. And I'll send this link along in the answer of the problem. Okay? Thank you.